Hey guys, welcome to our short tutorial on how to ace your multiple choice exams. I'm sure that everyone out there is familiar with multiple choice type of questions. Whether you're a student or you hold a professional designation, we all come across multiple choice tests. And it's not surprising that a lot of us actually struggle with these types of questions because they often use language that is difficult to understand. So even if we know the answer to the question, the wording can be really confusing. But the good thing is, is that there's a number of proven techniques out there that we can use to perform well on these tests. So in this tutorial, we're going to dive in and explore these techniques to help you guys succeed at your next multiple choice exam. Now, once you become aware of what these techniques are, you will begin to write your multiple choice test strategically without even being aware of it. So these techniques are so natural that they will become subconsciously embedded in your test taking process. And it's going to feel like second nature the second time around, kind of like driving a car or riding a bike. All right, so let's take a look at tip number one. The first tip is probably one of the most important tips when it comes to taking any kind of exam, not just multiple choice. And I'm personally usually guilty of not following my own advice when it comes to this particular tip. So what I tend to do when I first begin my exam is I tend to read the question as fast as I can so I don't run out of time at the end. Um, and then I'll pick an answer and move on. If you catch yourself rushing to answer each question, you may actually misinterpret what the question is asking. And you have to know what you're being asked before you can give the correct answer. So make sure you take the time to carefully read each question and their respective answer choices before choosing the correct response. If you miss a word or misread the question, or if you forget what the question is actually asking, make sure to go back and reread that question carefully. Try to predict what the correct answer will be. And then when you're scanning through the answers, see if your prediction is one of the choices. If it is, you can be quite confident that you have the right answer. When choosing your final answer, you need to make sure that your response is actually answering the question being asked. So don't pick an answer just because it sounds right. Make sure to look for contextual clues in the question being asked. You may notice that more than one answer may look right, but only one will fit the context better than the other. All right, so moving on to tip number two. The process of elimination is one of the most effective methods for answering multiple choice questions. By using this method, you can cross out all the answers you know are incorrect, and then you can focus on the remaining answers. So this particular strategy not only saves time, but it greatly increases your likelihood of selecting the correct answer as well. If you notice that your answers contain new information that doesn't relate to the topic being asked about, then that choice is likely incorrect because correct answer choices will rarely have new information included, even if the rest of the answer is correct. You may also come across answers that repeat word for word a portion of the question. Now, these types of answers are usually wrong because most correct answer choices paraphrase a point as opposed to paraphrasing the actual question. Also, if one of your answers contains a slang language, it's usually incorrect, so make sure you pick scientifically sounding choices. Make sure to also look for grammatical clues between the question and the choices. So for example, the question and the correct answer will often have verbs of the same tense, and it will often have nouns and verbs that agree. Don't waste your time going back and forth between two answers. If you're down to two options, you have a 50% chance of choosing the right answer. So make sure that you compare the remaining choices, isolate similarities and differences, and then make a choice. So don't obsess over one hard question when an easy question will raise your score just as much. When comparing your answer choices, try to brainstorm each possible choice independently from other choices. When you systematically go through each answer, you're often able to discover things you might have overlooked by only scanning the answers. So make sure to look for and understand the context of the question. Now, if you come across an answer that is noticeably longer than other choices, it's likely the correct answer. Because when creating multiple choice tests, test makers have to make sure that the right answer is undeniably correct. And this usually requires some qualifying language, which is not necessary with wrong answers. All right, so tip number four is all about time management. So when starting your multiple choice exam, the first thing you might wanna do is look at how many questions there are in each section and then divide your time into segments. This is necessary in order to make sure that you have enough time to answer all the questions. 
You also need to make sure that you budget at least 10 minutes to review and answer your questions at the end. Now, when you come across difficult questions, remember that multiple choice questions are usually weighted, so there's little benefit in completing hard questions rather than easy ones. Sometimes answering easy questions first can offer you insight into answering more challenging questions. So I usually like to answer all the easy questions the first time around. Make sure to answer every single question on your tests. Now, if you have not completed all the multiple choice questions, when there's only a couple of seconds left or a couple of minutes left on the exam, just randomly pick a choice and then guess all the remaining questions. When you do that, you have about 20 to 25% chance of guessing the correct answer. And a randomly guessed correct response is worth just as much as the one that is based on careful reasoning and consideration. So make sure to answer all the questions, even if you have to make an educated guess, because it's better than getting a zero. Now, if you don't know what the answer is, don't waste too much time on this one particular question. You can easily move on and then come back to tackle it later once you've answered all the questions that you know. If you straight up don't have a clue as to what the answer may be, then guess like a street magician. Now, these guys have no clue who you are or what your family history is, but they're really good at making educated guesses based on things that they observe about you. So the type of watch that you're wearing, the type of shirt that you're wearing. And so based on all of these things, they make these educated guesses using connections. And they're really good at this. So if you don't know where to start, look for connections in your questions and then guess based on these connections. I hope you guys found this information informative and that you'll be using some of these strategies next time you take a multiple choice exam. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe to support our channel.